Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Alright, Mr. House. We got uh got your RM Italy KL503 repaired for you. Uh, what I thought probably happened is exactly what did happen. Um, these th these amplifiers do not require uh, any drive at all. And if you, I hate to say it, man, but see the way the configuration is, is this is a one device MOSFET driving eight. Now I cannot really say what. Uh, what exactly the, the the devices are my guess is they are IRF 520s but they could be something else they've actually scraped them off I could not believe that but it's pretty unique the way they've got this set up you got to take this whole board completely out the MOSFETs are not even the MOSFETs are not even mounted on the top board right here they're actually mounted under the board and these three separate uh, brackets here kind of push down on the MOSFETs against the heat sink. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a real neat, that's a more efficient way to, instead of individually screwing them down. I do like that. But with it being set up that way, if it was set up as a straight eight, you could drive a little bit more power into this thing. But since it's not, and uh, I was looking at a possibility of just bypassing that driver for you. But uh, this is not a simple amplifier, as you can see. It is quite sophisticated. I was following the schematics for a good little while. I did get everything traced out to where I could do that. But it's just one of them things I'd rather not try any. I would rather basically not make your amplifier a guinea pig. Because <laughs> I've not done that before on this particular amp. But um, we got it fixed for you. The, the driver MOSFET was blown. Okay. And um, there was another one that was questionable on the finals. See, and as you can see, let me put the other one, show you up close. They have filed off. They have filed off what type they are. And every single one of them are that way. So the other one that was questionable, I just went ahead and uh, took that off as well. So, it's good to go. It's back up. I'll show you it in operation. And uh, it's definitely a neat little, neat little amplifier made over in Italy. Not a 30, 40 amp supply will do it for this one. Okay, the radio that I am driving it with is still considered over the max that it should be driven. By specs, it's saying to not drive no more than about an 8 watt radio into this thing. But, you do have 6 positions, which are input pads here that you can pick from. And here's all your pads, okay? So, if you do have to drive a bigger radio into this, I suggest you turn this thing anywhere from 4 up because of that but I would try not to drive no more than around 14 watts into this I'm gonna be driving 20 PEP 4 watts RMS um, it's just kind of an iffy thing man you know the instructions say do not drive no more than about 8 watts or uh, 8 watts PEP into it and uh, so I'm not sure what you were driving it with, but it did take out the driver MOSFET. So I would run a very low dead key with this thing. I think it recommends no more than two watts or so dead key. But take a look at it just in case. I can't remember exactly. I did take a glance at it uh, a day or two ago. But uh, well, here you go. First, I want to show you the the difference and by the way, I do have a little uh, visitor here and she ain't getting off my dang bench. So I told her. If she be if she if she be good and she can stay right here, ain't that right, girl? <laughs> she just trying to get comfy. It's been raining the last couple of days, so it's all moist out here on the ground. All right, we got the bench radio hooked up. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the difference of the dead key. I am I have exactly a one watt dead key. Okay, 
All right, we're going to turn this all the way on one, which is the lowest setting, okay? Six is the highest. All right, we've got a 1,000 watt slug in. All right, we're on the RMS. We're just going to be showing dead key here. All right, here's the dead key. All right, and it gives us no dead key at all. We're going to go up to two. That <clears throat> yeah, shows us about maybe about a 10 watt dead key. Three. And my mic cords and came loose over here. Okay, I need to damn fix that. All right, this is three. It's about uh, maybe 30, 20 or 30 watts. All right, here's four. All right, that jumps on up there. Sorry about that. that was actually my the sound of me uh, squeezing the mic there. Let's do this again. That's about a 50 watt dead key. All right. Five. And about 60 watts or so. Six. There's about a 110 watt dead key. All right. We'll leave it right there and go ahead and show you an RMS swing. <laughs> oh. This dang microphone. All right. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. It never fails. Somebody always calls me while I'm doing a video. But uh, I just went down there and figured out my mic was not screwed in all the way. It came unscrewed a little bit somehow or another but anyway all right we got it turned up all the way we're going to show an rms swing now oh yeah it's about oh yeah about 140 or so rms i'm gonna turn her down to about four Oh, yeah, about 100 watts RMS. All right, let's go ahead and turn up the peak. I'm just going to turn her all the way up to show you the max end. Oh, yeah, 300 watts. Okay, about the only other video I found on this amp when I looked real quick is a guy had one he was testing that he had just bought. And the most that he could get out of it was about 200 watts or so, but he was only driving about 8 watts or so into it. So well, I'm driving about 20, and as you see, it's doing about 300 watts. So don't look for a lot of power out of this amp. It's not really that efficient to have to use that many devices to not have that much more. But see, another thing is, I don't know about the voltage and everything. I mean... I might could up the voltage up a little bit from where it's set. I just got it on about 13.8, 13.9 volts just to be safe. Um, if I bumped it up to 15. But I, like I said, I'm, when I'm not familiar with an amp, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. Because the main thing, it ain't mine. <laughs> so I'm just here to try to repair it and get it back up rocking and rolling for you. So uh, there you go, man. Just for the fun of it, we'll bump it down to about half setting. Which is... Uh, and about we'll just put it about four and right, we'll put it on about three let you see the pep swing oh yeah it's about still about close there but you got a lower dead key now we're going to turn it all the way down oh yeah about 200 watts but you got a good low dead key there so if this was mine and i was going to be attempting to run about 20 watts into it I would probably run it on about two or three. Let me see that dead key. Let me turn it up. Yeah, I would run it on three if this was my box. Just like this right here. Hello, what's going on out there? Old gatekeeper out here in Georgia getting down with this one driving eight MOSFET. Already in Italy, got down. <laughs> All right, buddy, Mr. House, we got this one uh, done for you, and we got another one coming up. 
And I just added these wires here on the back because this got that neat uh, quick disconnect here that you just unscrew the take out if you wish. But uh, it wasn't that bad. You know, it was a little tedious getting the board out. And, and the most tedious thing was getting it back in uh, right and all lined up with the holes for the screws and everything. But other than that, man, it wasn't that bad. So I got another Aria Midley coming up after this one, man. On to the next. God bless.